This is Gianna Tutu One Two, the best from Jail Tech, and today I'm going to do my fifth browser wars. This time it'll be Oprah versus Google Chrome. Now I'll go ahead and show you that I'm quitting these two. Quit. So it'll be a fair comparison of the boot up time, but I'm going to go ahead and pin both of these to the. Uh, dock. I'll unpin them later because I don't want them. Go for two. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly click both of them so we can see the approximate boot up time. Let's get started. So the times will appear in the top right corner for Chrome and top left corner for Oprah. So the first round is speed. And that was part of speed. So we'll go ahead and go to some web pages and I'll time them while when I'm editing and I'll put them in put them on the screen while when I'm editing. So that's done. And that's done. Go to downloads. And we go to downloads. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to load some search results and see how fast they load. There's a uh, Google might fluctuate sometimes but this will be we'll do a few so we can see the approximate result. 0.17 seconds 0.33 seconds. 0.37 seconds 0.33 seconds 0.23 seconds 0.31 seconds 0.27 seconds 0.25 seconds One more 0.23 0.28 and there is really not that big of a difference, but I probably won it more than Google Chrome by just a few times. So here are the results for round one. Okay, round two is ease of use. So, Oprah is pretty easy to use. We have the simple new tab button, close, reload, back, but I... This button, there's really no point in putting it there because you could just put a settings button like uh, Chrome and put that in one of the settings options, but I don't really, it kind of gets in the way sometimes but by after using it for a while. So that's kind of a downside. We also have web, so the, yeah. And we have search with Google. Although I like the combined search and search bar and search and URL bar on Chrome. So once we open the new tab, we have a pretty easy to use speed dial page. And we can easily add a page to say my website, downloads maybe. But the problem with this, I wish it would just show the most visited websites and maybe some other stuff. So, Google Chrome has a very easy to use interface. The new tab is a very nice new tab. In the first page we have most visited. In the second page we have the apps which you can download more from the Chrome Web Store. Now there is no interrupting get in the way button here, but there is one in the corner, but it doesn't get in the way because it's so far away from the other button that's pretty nice and yeah we have the basic clothes tab whatever so chrome is pretty nice to use so here are the results for round two okay so round two will round three will be about extensions so chrome web store has a wide range of extensions 
In fact, the largest in any browser. Opera has a few extensions. Actually, forget that. It's just a little hard to find, so uh, here are the results for round three. Now, round three's results also include the web store's design and if it's nice or not. So the final round will be about popularity. I'll go ahead and go to Stack Counters, Browser, uh, Stats, and as you can see here, Chrome is taking over IE, Firefox is going down, so Chrome is getting very popular second, the second uh, browser, and Oprah is really not popular, so that's a really bad downside for Oprah. So here are the results for round four. Okay, round four Okay, so here are the final results. Okay, thanks for watching.